got the Lester Secretarians, yeah, uh, towards the later. I couldn't, uh, just learn to wine, what's his chain, listen to another, but she does a cheap. My name is Lester Secretary, I'm from the Tohajili Navajo Indian Reservation. And I uh, was told to send uh, a video of myself because I was with NIHB, I don't remember when, but I joined right after uh, they moved from Denver to DC. But when I got there, I I uh, didn't know my way around, but I learned from the best. Uh, there was uh, people already there. Uh, Gary Freddy, Sally Smith, Beaufort Rowland, Mickey Percy, uh, Dr. Rubdo and McSwain, and uh, all kinds of good people that helped me to, to find my way around. And I enjoyed working with uh, uh, the best of uh, Indian country. I'm sorry I cannot be there in person. I have uh, a surgery coming up and uh, I HS and VA or, or fighting over my legs, see who's gonna do it first. So uh, once they do one side, they're gonna do the other. So I could not make it because of that. I'm sorry, uh, I could not make it for your 50th anniversary. But we hear about NIHB here, I hear in New Mexico all the time, they are doing good work. For instance, uh, SDPI, Special Diabetes Program, we we got zeroed out and we were wondering why, and so we called up NIHB and with quick work, we got our program back. Stacy is really doing a super job over there. I work with Stacy and when you, get to Washington, she will put you to work. That lady doesn't sleep. She's gonna make you work. So uh, I worked with Stacy for a long time. Uh, we cried, we prayed, we cried, and we prayed over programs. And we had to go to court a couple of times. And uh, well, the Lord kept us strong. Uh, we appreciate what NIHB is doing. And I, like I said, I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your 50th anniversary. And I hope you all have a good time. We love you. Congratulations to the National Indian Health Board on its 50 year anniversary. I am Mary Smith, and I was head of the Indian Health Service at the end of the Obama administration. NIHB is a leading voice on advocating for quality health care for American Indians and Alaska Natives. We know that ensuring that Native Americans across the country have access to health care is an imperative. While I was at IHS, NIHB was a valued partner to us to work together to improve health care. For instance, NIHB has been a leading advocate for the special diabetes program at IHS. NIHB elevates the visibility of Indian health issues, which, as we all know, are often overlooked. As we look to the future and as the pandemic evolves, the role of NIHB becomes even more important. NIHB led the way on advocating for and providing technical assistance for public health capacity and infrastructure for tribes long before any of us had even heard the word COVID-19. And as we have all seen, especially over the past few years, health equity should not simply be an aspirational goal. It must be a reality. NIHB is leading the way to look at health equity through a holistic lens to incorporate addressing social determinants of health, such as housing, education, and transportation to improve overall health care for Native Americans. So thank you, NIHB Board Chair William Smith, and the entire board and CEO Stacey Bolin and the rest of the staff for all the work you do every single day. And congratulations again on your 50th anniversary. I've been involved in NIHV ever since uh, a long time ago. <laughs> uh, one 
uh, John's from uh, Seneca Nations, the one that got me involved. The line was, he was on the committee and um, he thought it'd be a good opportunity for me. So that's how I got involved with the National Indian Health Board. And since then, uh, I, and at that time we were in Denver, Colorado and we remained out there for about 10 years uh, until I moved it to Washington, D.C., which was a good move. And we'd been talking about it for a long time, but nobody ever did anything. So I said, we might as well go ahead and move it. And we did, and, and we survived it. No problem. And it's one of the greatest moves we ever made. And uh, I'm glad we did uh, move it to the district, D.C. And, uh, but uh, the National Indian Health Board's a grand organization that does a good job. Uh, and uh, uh, in serving our people. And uh, I know that uh, those that were involved in uh, with uh, getting the organization started, so many of them are gone. And and but I'm glad to see that the leadership of the nation, our tribes and all, are are interested in maintaining the organization. And they know how important it is to the health and the health care of our people. And uh, I'm glad to be a part of that. And uh, it's, uh, it's a good opportunity for anyone who wishes to work in behalf of their, their tribe. They can uh, be involved in the National Indian Health Board. And uh, I'm just happy to know that it's been around 50 years. It's uh, good when you have these times that uh, you can remember special uh, dates and what have you and all. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Good afternoon and hello. My native name is Turtle Woman. I'm a citizen of the Sault Ste. Marie tribe of Chippewa Indians, located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the National Indian Health Board. Miigwech, thank you for being with us to celebrate our 50th anniversary of the National Indian Health Board. We have so many tribal leaders and warriors that have played instrumental roles in improving the health, the public health and well-being of millions of American Indians and Alaska Natives across the country. This past spring, the President of the United States released a budget that was truly historic, requesting mandatory funding for the Indian Health Service with a plan to achieve full funding over time. While we have made many gains over the years, we still have a long way to go and we will get there together. We're envisioning a future where American Indian and Alaska Natives peoples have the best health outcomes of any group in the United States of America, and that we, we achieve health equity for all American Indian, Alaska Native nations. I also want to point out behind me, this is a star quilt that was given to me at the funeral of a great warrior in Indian health who passed on in my time serving at the National Indian Health Board. Her name was Carol Ann Hart. And many of you are familiar with her. She had the best sense of humor of anyone I've ever met in my life. And she was a tireless warrior and never afraid to speak the truth for our people. I keep this quilt as a cherished and honored um, possession in my office, but also as a constant reminder of our responsibility at the National Indian Health Board for those who gave the full measure all they had to improve the health care of our people. From our ancestors to where we stand today, just seven generations ahead of us, we don't stand alone. And we have to remember, this is a sacred place we're occupying. I also wanted to point out, I hope you all enjoy our Act of Love campaign to help mitigate the spread and um, 
the, uh, of COVID-19 and to uh, bolster the health of all of our people. This was in your conference bags. And I just want to say thank you, Miigwech, to all of you again for being here and being part of this historic celebration and being part of what makes change in American Indian and Alaska Native health. Miigwech.